Good morning, Asia. Welcome to the Asian preview in the North American wrap from Privateer FX. What, uh, what a difference a day makes. So in my last video, I talked about risk off with Italy in the crosshairs. And we did have a little bit of an extension in Asia um, yesterday in the open, and then things turned around and then, and then started getting, you know, when the European bond market opened, uh, the market started rallying. Uh, BTP, BTP yields uh, got started selling off. So bonds rallying yields back down. They went to the usual suspects of, you know, just buying euro. This was, uh, here's the open, this hourly bar right here. Um, you know, it started around 115.50 area. Got as high today, 116.75. We had some pretty, pretty high European CPI or German, German uh, regional CPI numbers. Um, we did have a weaker ADP out of the U.S. and a revision downward from the previous month. So, you know, there was you know, a few reasons for some dollar weakness. Remember, we did discuss a lot yesterday that the euro had reached a big inflection point in this uh, this 115 area. You know, I, I was hoping we'd get down to this kind of moving average kiss right in here that would have been a screaming buy but you know we respected this this old uh this old level down here 115 the figure 114.90 and uh we were able to get some longs on in uh in uh during early europe and still got them uh it looks constructive keep in mind tomorrow is month end uh, and if you look at the relative changes relative performances in the uh, global indices the equity indices the u.s is up about s p is about two and a half percent actually maybe three after today um, and if you look at something like the euro stocks that's down a couple percent so the rebalancing for month end especially when you've had a huge you know let's let's just put the crosshairs here the start of may right here we had a big sell-off in euro. We started out the started out the month of May uh, up here at out open here at 120.74. It pretty much pretty much went straight line down. We did have that one little V-shaped couple-day recovery. So from 120, 121, call it all the way down to 115 in the month of May. Um, our contacts are telling us that there's going to be some euros, some dollars to sell because the dollar outperformed all the major currencies in the month of May and the equity indice uh, performance differentials as well. So we're expecting there are some really big 118 strikes. We're expecting the euro to be bought. They'll probably start buying into the European Open. Um, and then they'll continue into the WMR fix during New York hours and, uh, and you know, the, the four o'clock fix for, uh, for London. But I, I would expect to see some, some heavy buying. So, you know, the, the, I think a lot of people are expecting this. So sometimes you got to be a little careful and maybe people were front running some of that today. Um, cable didn't do a whole lot today. It was basically just a risk on day. I mean, S and P's, you know, with the BTP yields dropping after that huge spike up yesterday, you know, it was about a 36-hour Italy risk-off type move. Uh, but things like Aussie Yen that were still short, that hurt a little bit. Um, you know, we were fortunate enough to buy, uh, buy a little bit in Asia, just some Delta hedging in Asia, because it did dip. And, it, you know, it almost did a bullish engulfing day. Um, I'd maintain my bearish tone there. You know, maybe this is a one-day wonder, and Italy comes uh, comes unglued again. Uh, I think some of the bigger picture guys, you know, the next few months, you'd look at 
Soros talking about how this is the one, you know, the euro and the eurozone is going to come under some pretty serious selling pressure within, you know, higher bond yields in the Portugal, Spain, Italy, and, you know, Italy's the fourth largest bond market in the world, so we have to respect that um, it's a, a much bigger deal than when we were, when the EU was trying, having to deal with austerity in Greece and and lending them 60 billion euros, which is nothing when you're talking about a trillion dollar bond market out of Italy. So anyhow, kind of long-winded, very long day here for me today. Um, worked the London hours, so I've been up for, um, I don't know, it's way too long. Aussie yen, there's the Aussie yen chart. Euro yen, big day. Did not pull, you know, had a huge down day, mid A4, but definitely a, a bullish day. Kiwi N, same stuff. I mean, it's all the same. You know, Euro Swiss, here's a great risk barometer. You know, we had that big sell-off, made new new lows for 2018, which I feel like we were just at the old 120 level not too long ago. And now you see it down here. That That's kind of cute how we went exactly to 120.08. And if you remember in our previous video a few weeks back, this was the first bid you could have hit when the S&B pulled the floor, and we went right to it. That was not that hard of a short. Um, did I expect it to drop 500 points? No. 600 points even. Um, so you can see that we had the bounce in Euro Swiss, and you know maybe we retrace some of that. But we're we're still looking to sell sell euros on rallies and cable on rallies. Um, but this this dollar sell-off could continue for a couple more weeks. So I'm not, you know, I'm not all of a sudden turning super, you know, long-term bearish the dollar because I, I do think the dollar is going to do well this year. Um, you know, definitely the second half of the year. But we might have some of this recent dollar strength. We might start seeing this uh, correction in the in the next few weeks leading up to the uh, the FOMC meeting and uh, the ECB is coming up as well. Uh, the, the only other thing, Dollar Cat had a big down day. Um, Bank of Canada removed some language. Market took it as a hawkish signal. Got all the way down to 128.40. Closed up here at 128.70. I still like buying dips in this. However, we might see Let's run the fibs here. We take a take a look at those uh, the April low. So this is just the most recent swing or cycle. Got down to the third, 128.51. Low was 39. Uh, 127.90. This looks like a big level down here. 127.30. Got some daily lows. Moving average confluence with the two thirds fibo. So get your bids in down here at 127, 30, 30 to 50. Um, <clears throat> what, else, what else is on the radar? We've got um, jobs number on Friday. Uh, expecting tomorrow to be somewhat quiet. It's really a headline, Italy headline trading game right now, which is, is difficult for a lot of you. And liquidity is certainly at a premium. We've noticed a, 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 a much wider spreads and uh, very defensive pricing from our liquidity providers. So keep that in mind. Keep it tight. Keep it small. <clears throat> be nimble. And good luck. And you'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.